Hi everybody, this is a Starshots guy, and today we're talking about why reinforcement is used in concrete. The most typical and common reinforcement used in concrete is reinforcing steel bars, also known as rebar. Concrete, being the most used man-made material, is usually made of cement, water, fine aggregates, coarse aggregates, and sometimes admixtures or additives, all mixed in certain ratios depending on its uses. We add those admixtures for a variety of reasons, but that is a topic for another video. Concrete is a great material used for construction, but unfortunately it has a major weakness. Stick around to learn what it is and how engineers use reinforcement to solve this weakness. To understand concrete creator's weakness, we need to know a little bit about strength of material, which is a fancy word for describing how material behaves under stress. This is not the everyday anxiety or stress you get from watching the news or talking to your boss, but the internal pressure inside the material. Stress or pressure is defined as the force applied over an area, as you can see in this equation. There are three kinds of stresses. Compression, squeezing an object, tension, pulling an object apart, and shear, sliding parts of an object along a line or a surface. Different materials experience these three stresses differently. It is known from practice and research that concrete is strong in compression but very weak in tension, which is concrete's greatest weakness. Here is an example of two concrete cylinders made from, from the same patch. First, the compressive test has shown that the cylinder has fared around a load of a thousand pounds. Then, we test the other concrete cylinder for tension, with two hooks attached at the top and bottom as you can see here. After adding gravel and then adding a 20 pounds dumper, the cylinder has fared at only 80 pounds, which is less than 10% of the compression load at which the other cylinder has fared at. That is why you should never make any structure of just concrete, but you have to reinforce it with rebar to take that tension in the concrete because in reality, all structures experience all three stresses, compression, tension, and shear. Similar behavior can be seen in a simply supported beam loaded at the top as you can see here. This beam experiences compression at the top of the beam but tension at the bottom of the beam. You can already guess where the failure of this beam will happen. The crack starts at the bottom of the beam and propagates upwards until complete failure is reached. As you can see here, concrete alone does not behave well under tension and the failure happens very suddenly, also known as brittle failure, which is not a desired behavior. What we want is a failure that happens much slower so we can repair it and avoid a catastrophe. This desired failure is called ductile failure. Thus, we reinforce concrete for those two main reasons, ductility and resisting tension. As mentioned in the beginning of the video, the most common reinforcement is reinforcing steel bars or rebar. Concrete and rebar create a composite material where concrete is resisting the compressive forces only and steel bars are resisting the tensile forces. As you can see here, the failure of a reinforced concrete beam happens less suddenly and can resist more force before it reaches failure. Last but not least, it is important to mention that the first failure you saw was similar to how concrete columns behave under compression or tension. But the second failure we saw was under the bending of a beam which is a combination of tension and compression. There is another failure that can occur for the beam which is called shear failure. Shear failures usually occur at a 45 degrees angle across the depth of the beam as you can see here. 
This failure occurred near the maximum force applied on the beam, as you can see here from the pressure or loading arm. To prevent this failure, the beam needs to be reinforced with this rebar ties spaced every few inches or centimeters to prevent this failure as you can see here. Also, remember we already scrapped the surface in this video for reinforced concrete as some people spend their entire professional career studying reinforcement in concrete. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more videos related to concrete on this channel. Please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future videos. See you next time.